Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Karl Schlechter and Gustav Neuhom. This game was played in Baden by Wien in 1914. Karl Schlechter had white pieces and he started with e4. Gustav Neuhom played e5. Knight to f3. Knight to c6. d4. The Scotch game. E takes on d4. White to move. Schlechter didn't take on d4. He played bishop to c4. Nehom defended the pawn. c3. Black to move. d3 was played. What's wrong with taking on c3? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Would you take on c3 with the knight or maybe there is a better move? The best move is bishop takes on f7 check. And after king takes on f7, queen to d5, check. King to f8, queen to c5, check. And after d6, queen takes on c3. White wins more games than black from this position. Back to our game. d3 was played. White to move. b4. The pawn on d3 is not going anywhere. Bishop to b6, a4, threatening to trap the bishop. A5, B5, attacking the knight and gaining the space on the board. Queen to E7. White to move. Should white take the knight or not? What would you do? Schlechter didn't take the knight. He castled. Let's take it back. What's wrong with B takes on C6? Then the queen takes on E4 check. And after bishop to E3, queen takes on C4. Back to our game. Schlechter castled, and now he is threatening pawn takes knight. Knight to d8. Let's take it back. Queen takes on e4. Has a tiny, tiny downside. And that is losing the queen. That is why Nihon played knight to d8. White to move. Queen takes pawn on d3 was expected. Knight to d4. The knight is on the way to f5. d6. Knight to f5 attacking the queen and the pawn on g7. Daring black to take the knight. Queen to f6. If bishop takes on f5, e takes on f5. An opening of the e-file would not benefit black within the castle. So we have queen to f6. Bishop takes on d3. Knight to e6. Well, if knight goes to h6, then bishop takes on h6, and after g takes on h6, the position doesn't look promising for black, does it? And let's go back. How about knight to e7? Is that a better move? The knight takes on e7, and after queen takes on e7, knight to d2. This position is good for white too. Back to our game. Knight to e6, queen to c2, knight to e7, knight to d2, black to move. Perhaps a castling comes to mind. Do you agree? But Nehom was not confident about castling. He probably thought that he would castle into it, so to speak. So he played bishop to d7. Knight to c4, threatening to chop the bishop on b6. Bishop to c5. If bishop goes to a7, then b6. After bishop takes on b6, knight takes on b6, c takes on b6, knight takes on d6. Check. And white is winning. Back to our game. So we have bishop to c5, bishop to e3, b6. White to move. How can white put more pressure on black's position? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Schlechter played f4, the best move, intending e5 and crushing through. Bishop takes on e3. If something like g6, then bishop takes on c5, knight takes on c5, e5, and white is winning. After say d takes on e5, f takes on e5, Black is in big trouble if queen goes to g5, knight from f to d6, check, c takes on d6, 
Knight takes on d6 check. If king goes to f8, rook takes on f7 check. And what else? If king goes to d8, knight takes on f7 check, winning the queen. Back to our game. After f4, we have bishop takes on e3. Knight on c takes on e3. Rook to c8. Why two more? How would you continue now? Please pause and find the best move for white. Schlechter didn't play any extraordinary move. There was no need for extraordinary moves. He just followed the general rules. If your opponent in a castle, open the e-file. e5. The game over. Black pieces are ready for the next game. Well, the position is lost, but player with the black pieces, Gustav Nyholm, continue to fight with knight takes on f5, sacrificing the queen. If queen goes to g6, then knight takes on d6, check, is winning. Knight takes on e7 is also winning. After queen to h5, bishop to e2, queen to h4, knight on 3 to f5, and you can see for yourself how easy it is for white to win. Back to our game. Knight takes on f5, trying to get as much material as possible for the queen. Pawn takes queen, knight takes on e3, attacking the white queen. White played a move and black resigned, and the move is queen to e2, black resigned. For the entertainment purpose I will show you just one line. Knight to d5, f takes on g7, rook to g8. f5, knight takes on c3, queen to b2, knight to d5, f takes on e6, bishop takes on e6. There is more than one way to win. Bishop takes on h7 is one of the winning moves. And I guess we can stop here. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.